Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so last time we were playing, we were just kind of processing the rest of the goodies there. Um, still, still tons of wood up there to collect. So I figured, hey, you know what, in this episode, maybe we should kind of pick some of that up and get with the gear. So we're going to attempt to get this, uh, this truck and trailer over that sketchy little bridge we made. And then we're going to load it up, and then we're going to try to get it back, which I think might be even harder than we think. But we'll see. So... Um, my bank account still has $568,000 in it, so we're doing very well financially. Um, so probably with the first few loads, I think I'm just going to park them. That's my plan. So I'm going to kind of try to wiggle this bugger over the thing here. Oh, it's a little sketch, but you know what? She makes it, so that's good. And then we're going to get a warning about the water being too high here. Oh, no. Oh, oh there it is. I thought we skipped that one, but guess not. All right, so um, maybe... Oh, actually, you know what we should do? We should uh, jump in our skitter. Zoom out a little here. And let's plow some roads. Is this plowing the dirt on the ground? No, it isn't. There we go. Okay, so I want to plow a sketchy little road up the sketchy little hill. Oh, that's a bit of a... it's a bit of a hard spot there, huh? Interesting. Okay. Oh, apparently it's just too much uh, stuff going on here. There we go. Well, too much pressure. And we're going to kind of scoop through the block. I just want to meld kind of like a little crappy road so that I got something to kind of stick to. That way we'll kind of have an idea of where we're going. This will bring us nice and close to all these piles. Kind of scoop through the block. Oh, we got a problem here. That's going to be a problem. So let's cut that out of there. The sounds of chainsaws, hey? Okay. So let's keep rolling. I think we'll have to go kind of up here a little because it's a little bit of an arc. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're going to make it. Oops. Jeez. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, come on. There you go. You got this. boy. He gets hung up on the uh, on the sharp angles, I think, here. There we go. Alright. And we're going to kind of go like this. Kind of a screwy little road. I think our skidder's starting to get moon syndrome, I call it now. Where they float. <laughs> the moon syndrome. It's a real disease, and the skitter has it. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's going to be a sketchy little road, isn't it? Terrible road. Not a bush road. Bad road. Okay. Sure, that'll work. Just watching it sketch out here, it's pretty fun. And in the process, we can wipe out all this crap. Bloop. There we go. And then down in the burn. Oh, come on, you greasy bugger. Oh, there's a stump there, that's why. I was like, why? Let's see if we can carve off this little bit here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Destroyed. All right. So now we got, like, a really sketchy little bush road. So let's uh, let's take that for a wander. That'll be fun. Oh, and there's some wood down here, too. So why don't we go like this and make a little path down here? Basically, I'm just kind of painting um, some road so that I know where all my piles are when I'm driving around. Then I don't have to look for them. I can just go there. Wow, this is a terrible spot to put a road, apparently. I don't know if there's road police in this game, but I'm pretty sure I would be fined and convicted instantly with this road. Uh, oop. Downhill, I seem to have more success, so let's try that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to punch right through to that other road. Oop. It's not a pretty road, but it's still 
technically textbook a road. More like an old sketchy path. Let's go with that. The skitter does not like doing this. All right, well, let's park the skitter in the moat. Bloop. You can hang out here, boy. Good, sit, skitter, sit. There we go. Now it looks like a block, eh? Look at all those nasty little roads we made. So I'm actually going to start at the back because we have the loader already at the back end there. See how clean it looks now that we've taken all those uh, slash piles and made them all into one pile? It actually looks like a, a really nice little block. I think we did a good job. I think we did a good job. Does that mean we actually did a good job? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Let's get back in the picture here. Alright, so loading is going to be the fun part. Because I don't really have much of a rhyme or reason to how we're going to do this yet. So I think what we'll do is we're going to park this guy just kind of sketchily right here. And we'll hop in Mr. Loda. And let's see how we can load this thing or if if and how we can load this thing. Oh, I'll get right down here. Oh, it's too bad. I kind of wanted that bench for loading because now I feel like I'm kind of below the trailer. Ah, whatever. We can still load it. Not a great spot to load, not a great angle to load, but I have faith that we can do this. I don't need to bump that one. Let's just go like this and sprinkle it in there. And scoop up this stuff. Beauty. Maybe not so beauty. There we go. Nobody said it had to be pretty. Everybody just said it had to work. Fair enough, eh? Fair enough. All right. So, did you guys watch the last episode of Game of Thrones? Oh, ho. wasn't that a piece of crap? <laughs> you guys want to? Talk? Okay, I can't. I don't really like talking about politics, but I can talk about TV shows. Now, I wasn't like a die-hard sucker fan for Game of Thrones, but I really did enjoy the series, and I loved it. I'd say I was more of a, a Lord of the Rings guy when it came out a million years ago, when I was like 12. I loved it. But Game of the Thrones was like the adult Lord of the Rings. It was the one that always should have been made, because it was really well done. Problem was... Um, that last episode. Actually, the whole last little bit of the series was just kind of like, what? What I can't get over is, what the hell is the... Okay, spoiler alert. If you guys are watching... Uh, if you haven't watched the last bit of Game of Thrones, I'm probably going to spoil some stuff. So, uh, pre-warning. Get out now before I start talking if you don't want it spoiled, because I'm going to spoil some stuff. Um, so, yeah. like I want to know, what was the point of... The, like the end I don't know it's the, so John gets you know booted off to the wall there and joins the Night's Watch okay so first of all what the hell is the point like I was thinking this the day after and I'm sitting there and I'm just like okay so if I remember correctly watching the series from earlier on the whole purpose of the wall was to keep out those wildling people and was to keep out the uh, you know the walking dead people should they ever return or whatever right so now that the Walking Dead people are, uh, you know, dead and destroyed, and the Wildling people are all, like, buddy-buddy with, um, with the, uh, you know, like, the Six Kingdoms or whatever now, what the hell is the point of having the Night's Watch? What is it even, what is it for? <laughs> and what's the point of having the wall? And what the hell is with the wall getting fixed so quickly? That was really weird, too. Like, they showed that shot of the wall, and it looked like it was, like, fully back to... Unless they jumped, like, a long time, but... I remember reading all the fan fiction and lore a long time ago when I was a little more into the series, and they were talking about the wall being, like... You know, took, like, 30 years to build, and required all these people, and... Um, that guy, Brandon, who built it, or whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, and then all of a sudden it does a flash forward, and I'm like, holy shit, has it been 30 years? Because Jon Snow hasn't really aged at all. <laughs> and that whole wall that that 
undead dragon burned down is just like totally back to normality. And I was like, uh, okay. Well, that was quick. Good on you guys. Good team there. Good teamwork. Yeah. So that that's one thing. I was like, well, what's the point of, you know, John going out into the wilderness if there's no real point of being up there anymore? Nobody's everybody loves each other and peace and harmony and all that, but anyway, so he's off to go be his adventurous self in the woods. Now, who do we got left? We got Arya who, for whatever the hell reason, decides she wants to go explore the world. Uh, instead, she's just reunited with her whole family and, you know, you know, fallen in love with Buddy there, and now she wants to go explore the world and leave everyone behind. I, know, I thought that was kind of a weak plot point, but um, sure, why not? And the only thing I can think is maybe they're opening themselves up for, like, future adventure stories with her or a series where Arya is you know, the uh, the adventure main person in it and they're wandering around doing that or something. I don't know. That's a possibility. But, uh, wait, should we go up? Maybe we should go up and take care of those piles. Well, actually, no, we're right here. Let's grab this one. Very indecisive loader man today here. So, yeah, and then we Arya, St or Sansa becomes the frickin' Queen of the North there or the whatever the hell, Lady of the North. And that was kind of weird, because I thought, well, I don't know, that was just seemed bizarre to me. I was like, okay, well, whatever, I guess, I guess she earned that. I don't know. She wasn't my favorite character anyway, I'm not going to lie. But after all the mutiny, like, in the earlier episodes, you're watching the mutiny. Sorry, we're really going into in-depth about Game of Thrones this episode. That's just the way it is, so. Um, in the earlier episodes, there was a lot of mutiny about... Jon Snow running off to or running off to uh, the dragon place while um, uh, Sansa sat there and looked after the throne, and all the guys were like, "Oh, blah, blah, blah. they didn't like it so much." So now all of a sudden, it's totally fine that she's like Lady of the North, and no one like wanted to chop her head off, or nobody needed to get their heads chopped off. Like everybody's just cool with it. <laughs> I just find that so odd. Oh man, this is a bad block. This is a bad block where we are here. There we go. There we go. How close are we there? Still got room on that one bunk, so I think I'll bring it up to there first. There we go. And I'm going to release these two straps. Just these two so we can play with this pile. So yeah, Sansa, whatever. It's all good. Uh... I don't know. It just felt so weak. The ending of that just felt so weak. Like, they just rushed it and just, you know, okay, we're done. HBO, thanks, bye-bye. It just, I don't know. I wasn't satisfied by it. Not to mention, what's a Cersei? Why didn't Cersei eat shit way harder on her death? Her death was so, like, kind and nice, you know? She got, I mean, getting crushed by rocks probably isn't kind and nice, but still... She died in her lover's arms, and it's everything she ever wanted was to just, you know, be with him and dee 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 She was such a goddamn monster through that whole series. She was worse than Joffrey, and everybody hated Joffrey. Look how he died, S just suffering. But she gets this nice little, like, oh, it's all good. You know, you cried, di or you crushed, died in your lover's arms. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm a pretty vengeful person, I guess, but I would have rather have seen her just, you know, eat it. That would have been way better. Oh, that's a good picture right there. Look that one. She should have been like she should have had the dragon like rip her arm off and then have her just like get at fall into a vat of acid or slowly fall into a vat of acid or something. That's what I think should happen. She earned that. And then the hound. I like the hound. I was kinda mad that he died. He should have just survived, but I guess he kinda had to die for all his past indiscretions. I don't know. You know what? You guys can leave your comments uh, in this video about what you think. I know it's not farming simulator related, but Game of Thrones was a big deal. It was a lot of time. A lot of us spent a lot of time watching it over... When did it come out? It came out in like 2010 or 11 or something? Way back in the day. It's a long series. Eight years. Crazy. But anyway... You guys leave your comments on what you think should have happened. Or maybe, I, like, some of my friends were totally happy with the ending. They are like, oh, it was amazing. And I was like, yeah, no, it wasn't. It sucked. 
<laughs> but everybody's got their opinions, so it's totally cool. But I just thought from a series that was so brutal and pornographic and gory to, like, end it in such a, like, everyone's happy, peaceful kind of way. I was like, this is just dumb. It should have been just mass chaos. I saw that one picture everyone was retweeting of the uh, the Night King sitting on the throne with all his undead. And I was like, see, that's what should have happened. That would have been a good ending in this case. But I don't know. Like I said, you guys can leave your feedback on what you think. If you watch it. If you don't watch it, probably better. Hey, look, that one log is trying to get away. I guess I stacked those a little too high on that one. The straps don't want to quite reach them. We'll just see if they stay there. That'll be the trick. The real question is, are we going to be able to get this back over the bridge? I don't know. Okay, so let's fill up this last bunk. With the wheels not even sitting on the ground. That's fantastic. How's that going to settle? Not well. Oh, we'll just remove the back straps here only. This is starting to feel more realistic, hey? Like we're in a really crappy block. The truck's up on its end. There's mud everywhere. This is real logging right here right now. This is the experience I hear from most people. Terrible, crappy weather, mud, and depression. That's that's a lot of days logging. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this. Come on, bigger. Oh, a hole two. Whew. Man, easy there. Don't want to get too uh, too crazy there. Apparently, it wanted to be two, so it's getting two. I'm just trying to be a little feisty there. Oh, I see one popped out too. Darn it. It's alright, we'll get back to that eventually. Yeah, Game of Frickin' Thrones. Fun series, though. I really did like the series. It kind of just got a little too rushed at the end, or Hollywood. But maybe that's whatever. Isn't that what everybody says about series? I don't know. You know the one series that did really well, um, and it was really short? I think it was only 10 episodes. It was called Generation Kill. And it was about, like, uh, American soldiers in Iraq going through boot camp and then getting deployed kind of thing. But it was only 10 episodes. And everyone raged because they wanted more. But I think the way it ended was, like, it, it was perfectly because it, it left it open for, you know, the end of the war for people, you know, to keep continuing their careers or not. I love when they end a series early because sometimes it was so good that that's where it should have ended. Um, a lot of times, bigger companies like HBO or any of these guys making these shows will want to keep a series going forever because they make so much money off everyone watching it, right? So to see to see a series that's really good just die like that, like after ten episodes, and just the developer just going, "No, that's all," or the uh, sorry producer just going, "No, that's all we wanted to make." That is, I'd rather see it die early and be so memorable and so good. Than to watch it, like, you know, turn into, like, a huge deal where everybody watches it and it becomes, like, a huge... Walking Dead's a good example of that, actually. If they would have ended it on season one, I probably wouldn't have been a happy guy. I, uh, I wasn't a big fan of how it just deteriorated into life drama and... Fr oh, I don't even... I can't even go there. It's a, it's a touchy subject, but I was not super impressed with the way that series went, to be totally honest. Because I loved the first season. I loved the acting, the character development. Everything was great. Second season got really boring. A lot of barn and farm crap. Oh, God. Are we going to make it over this? All right. We're going to have to just gun it when we get up here. Because I think that trailer is going to try to slop off the side. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. I told you. There it goes. Oh, no. We're good. Woo. That was close. All right. Let's get this. Uh, you know what? This is going to be our staging area right here. Just for now. We'll bring it back to the mill. We'll have like a hauling episode where we bring these back to the mill. So let's park this here. I'm going to get hooked on with this other trailer. And maybe we'll get it across the bridge, but we won't load it up. Yeah, and we could just have a little staging area. Now what I'll have to do is once I fill these two trailers is I'm going to have to bring... Um, I'm going to have to go back to the mill to pick up a new trailer. So when I go back to pick up a new trailer, I'll just constantly bring a load and keep swapping them out for the new trailer. Uh, that'll actually work out pretty good. There's freaking mud here. Just a lot of mud, man. Oh, jeez. Don't fall in the drink. There we go. We're good. 
this nasty little road we made here. It's actually kind of cool, you know, that we turned this hillside into, like, this crappy little loading area out of nothing. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Whoops. Oh, man. It slipped right off the road. You see that? <laughs> that's crazy. Just sliding around. Okay, I'm going to put it right behind the loader because we're, like, spinning here. Official mud and spin tires here. Okay, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Shut this bad boy off. Um, when we come back, I guess we'll continue loading. Um, maybe we'll take a break after we get another couple loads in and um, go do some more bunching with our little buddy up here and go whack out the rest of these trees. I would love to drag them somewhere where we can actually process on stable ground. That would probably be handy, so we'll look into that. But anyway, if you guys liked the episode, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe, and if you're in the bush... Don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.